What up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified each and every time I post some new content. And if it resonates, shoot me a little thumbs up <laughs> and comment to let me know how or why. Okay, um, I love you guys. Okay, if you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading. Free reading giveaway, uh, winner shall be announced probably by October 7th. So stay tuned for that and congratulations ahead of time to the winner. Okay. Ooh, you're really embracing your independence while still communicating and celebrating the people that you love. It's like you're finding balance. You're not hyper independent anymore, but you're also not dependent on anyone for anything. It doesn't matter. You don't need outside validation. Okay. I feel like there's some kind of manifestation shift that's happening okay like i think things are becoming easier for you to manifest because of this surrender this balance energy okay so this is a collective y'all know the deal <laughs> um i hope you enjoy but let's see i definitely feel a shift and i feel like yeah we have life speeding speeding up already things are gonna be speeding up like i yeah like i said i don't know what's happening but there's something about things coming to you quicker things happening for you quicker okay but yeah guys t just take what resonates you know the deal um there's a lot of people watching it's always my intention that it feels like a personal but you know and i don't know what's going on with the imagery right I changed some setting. I don't know what I did, but <laughs> it's fine. Moving on. Okay. Wow, that's, that's a lot. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Wow, magic works through you. What's happening is you're integrating your magic. You're integrating your your power, and I feel like you're adding more color life is about to start shifting in the best way possible for you like it's just gonna feel brighter it's just gonna feel more defined more energetically aligned okay your energy shifts before your outer reality does right and you've been shifted for quite some time and you're just like waiting 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 and you're like what the fuck but you're seeing little things which is nice and reassuring you know what i'm saying but it's like <laughs> i've been looking at the watch like what's going on here you know what i'm saying but there is a shift that's happening that is allowing these things that you have been waiting for to actually finally funnel in okay like a funnel you know there's a lot at the top but it has to go through this tiny little hole and then it's going out you know what i'm saying so it takes time but you know you're not making a mess there's nothing spilling over that's the, that's the purpose of the funnel you know it takes a little longer but you know you're not making a mess so I guess that that's relevant in some way, shape or form, three, three, three. It's like, if you got all of your manifestations all at once, super freaking quickly, I, I think <laughs> it would be kind of, it would, it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to handle it. Okay. You, there were certain things and, and tests that needed to go on before you could finally, you know, allow these to come in. Okay. But just expect a lot of good luck and magic to come in as you're ending these things and there's a big emphasis on your mind shift your mind shifting okay because we have the parrot spirit watch your words right not only are you protecting yourself you're embracing your uniqueness and your authenticity you're flying on a different path it's like everyone else is walking and you're like um i got wings okay i'm flying out of here all right but emphasis on you know you're shifting your negative thought patterns you're shifting your inner critic okay that 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 part of you that always feels like you're not good enough that part of you that always feels like you don't believe in yourself look at the squirrel spirit the part of you that scatters all over the place okay the part of you that is just thinks that you're crazy to believe in yourself you're letting go of that and you're actually shifting and you're like you know what because of the little little pebbles that have been flowing in okay of your manifestations like showing like the, they're coming they're coming this is real it's gonna happen it's just a matter of time and because it's t it took so long that's what really kind of like made you almost doubt yourself but then you're like boop 
and, and it's like God saw that and was like, hold on, don't, don't lose, don't lose faith right now. There, there's a reasoning to why it's taking longer. Okay. It doesn't have to do with you, but it does have to do with your belief and you know, the negative patterns that you're releasing because you're closing out a lot of cycles based off of energies that had nothing to do with you, whether it was generational past life, people's projections, you, you absorbed like a freaking sponge, all this toxicity. And that's what you've been purging. And of course we all have our own inner demons that we got to deal with, right? But now it's like you have a new beginning coming in where you're going to be, you know, meeting people who actually match your energy, okay? And match your vibe. And it's like a new, fresh energy that, you know, these people will believe in you and you will believe in them. And you're each holding a piece of the puzzle that's going to create, like, a magnificent thing together. You are, you're going to be collaborating with new people or working with new people or just spending time with new people who are going to give you a new perspective, uh, a new lease on life kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's what you're doing. You're healing. You're making changes. The healing, you're shedding your old self. You're shedding that old skin and you've done a lot of the hard work because you know ants represent a lot of hard work, determination, discipline, and consistency. And it's like you're, you're, you're shedding that skin, still c staying committed to self and the healing that you have done and will continue to do is really going to propel you forward. And that's why the magic is coming in, okay? And you're acting as if. 555 five, five could be relevant, okay? You're acting as if, you know, you know that your stuff is coming in. You weren't doing that before, okay? You probably got nervous or you doubt started to flood your mind and stuff like that. Or you would say, say things that, you know, like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Or, yeah, it's probably not coming because it would have been here by now. And it's like, those were holding you back every part of that, whether it was a thought or you saying things that was holding you back. Okay. Especially when bad things happen. Cause we have when life stings, right? When, when you would get hurt or when things th that didn't work out or break downs happened and stuff like that, it was like, you know, okay, this is just proof that it's not gonna, gonna work. It was like, your doubt trying to creep in when in reality all those things had to happen to force your hand to shed that old self or to force your hand to take that leap of faith okay a lot of these things that felt painful they all had a reason okay and now you're manifest another five are you kidding me we have mirrored numbers 1441 but there is an emphasis on you know you finally embracing your your own song and you know writing your own story you're rewriting your life Okay, you're, you're deprogramming all of those beliefs that were pushed onto you, okay? And you're realizing that there's plenty to go around and you're ending some kind of scarcity mindset and you're shedding that, okay? Because that's how you, you were brought up or that's what you've experienced in your younger years and stuff like that. And now miracles are going to be endless in your life and it's already happening already happening <laughs> miracles are going to be endless okay the water it's just flowing in and water could be anything it could be abundance it could be money it could be happiness it could be joy it could be harmony but there is a a dam that is flooding in okay and you went through all that pain right you got stung a lot of times you got betrayed a lot of times you you you've been stabbed in the back a lot of times and it actually ended up turning to work out in your favor literally like all of that pain you've transmuted it you're healing it and it's really becoming your power and you're applying that wisdom and that's what's really bringing in that you know no longer scarcity miracles are endless everything is working out for me whether i believe it or not you know what i'm saying and now you have the ability to overcome those obstacles another five that you know, before would have been extremely challenging. You know what I'm saying? Because of the pain that you went through, any pain that comes to you now, it's easy. You brush that shit off. You brush that dirt off my shoulder. Like, literally. And it's, it's, it's because of, you know, your fortitude. And now you trust in the magic, okay? You understand that there's magic within you, all around you, and you're trusting in the magic. And you're focusing on keeping yourself balanced and purifying yourself. And because you've been doing all of that, life is speeding up. I should have known it was going to come out, okay? Life is speeding up. Your manifestations are speeding up. Your ability to make choices are going to be speeding up. You're not going to be stuck in your head anymore, okay? You're not going to be stuck in any situation that doesn't align with you. You're going to be singing your own song, okay? You're going to realize that it's your life. 
<laughs> Cause I'm hearing a song. It's my life and it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. You're realizing like your time is now and it's time for me to boss up and it's time for me to do this shit and let my shit shine, bro. Literally let it shine. I'm a, a beautiful, beautiful peacock and I let my little feathers flutter in the wind. Okay, I don't know what that was. I really don't. But you know that you're authentic. You know that you're one of a kind as everyone is, but you're not trying to fit in anymore. and You're not trying to, you know, dilute yourself there's no point in that you're speaking your truth you're loving on yourself and you're singing your own song and that's really inspiring others but that's also ushering in all these manifestations these manifestations are going to be flooding into your life like crazy okay this next month is like you're finally going to start seeing it you're finally going to start seeing it because of you finally shedding that old self that used to always talk shit that was not even you talking shit it was just you know you were told this, you were told that, you were bullied when you were younger and stuff like that. And, you know, all that happened and you're releasing it, 1122. And now it's up to you because you're making changes. You're, you, it's up to you to stand firm in your vibration. It's up to you to, you know, choose a higher timeline, to choose the bigger path, that, the better path or the path that you may have doubted when you were younger or the path that no one really believed that you were able to accomplish or the path that even you doubted you could accomplish, you know, but no one can sway you. No one can prevent you from getting this. Only you can. You are your only enemy right now. There's no one who can block you. It's you. And we know this, okay? It's always us. It's always been us, okay? Besides, like, once we start to accept that, you know? And it's when we acknowledge the pains and the projections of others and the fact that we, we took that shit on like it was our own when in reality that was not our burdens to carry. That was not our problem. That was not our issue. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been projected on a lot. What else? For some reason, everybody chooses to project onto you. Everyone chooses to, to make you the enemy, make you the villain, when in reality, it's like they're the villain. A lot of people wanted you to be the villain of their story, right? What they wanted you to be the reasoning for everything that was happening in their life, right? <laughs> I don't understand it. But like now people are going through like an ego death because of the fact that, you know, you're not the villain. <laughs> you're not the reason why they're going through what they're going through. You're the reason why they almost, you know, didn't... You're the reason why a lot of people were getting blessed. And... Because you left a lot of people's lives, and because you kind of changed up, and you've moved differently, and you've focused on yourself, and you're no longer taking offense, or giving away your power or energy as easily as you did before, this is, uh, like, your... It's like your trial, okay? This is like the trial. It's the, the the witch trials, okay? Like, except not really. Like, it's different because you are actually going to be not guilty, bitch. Not guilty, okay? You were never guilty. <laughs> and that's a hard pill for people to swallow, okay? But people are going through an ego death. And it's like, it's it's a hard truth that's... I don't know. What else can I really say, okay? But there is big emphasis on your throat chakra being wide the fuck open. Okay? And I feel like... Because you're not the villain anymore. Or because you're not in people's energies and you were like the scapegoat. You were the one that everyone wanted to blame. Everyone put the blame on me. You can't put the blame on you. You know what it is? It's like you... You are so selfless that before you were high key like a martyr, okay? Not on purpose, of course, but it just kind of happened that way. And now everyone else's foundations are breaking apart because, you know, you're not there anymore to hold it together. You were the glue. You were the glue for these people's fantasies, for these people's illusions. Now that you have broken free, their illusion has been 
tarnished. Their illusion has been smashed to pieces. Like, it's like you smashed a mirror. So not only are these people still trying to find blame within you because it, it happened because you left, then they can't hold themselves accountable, you know, but it's like they have to take a look in that mirror and understand that that's their fault. They need to rebuild. It's not your responsibility, okay? Like, these people are upset that you're elevating, that you changed up and stuff like that. So they're still looking for blame. They're still looking to blame you. Like, yeah, if I never knew... Okay, bitch. Like, if I, if you never knew this collective, bitch, you would not be where you're at, okay? Consider yourself lucky. The only reason why shit is breaking down because of the fact that you decided to be a secret hater. You decided to, you know, try and break down this person's like goals dreams and aspirations self-concept it's like these people tried to break you down okay and they did and they and they got you to a point where it's like you were you were easy to you know you you didn't want no problems you didn't want no issues right and then you said enough is enough you left and now you changed up you're singing your own song you're cutthroat you got boundaries and shit like that and people's energies cannot affect you you know what it is too a lot of your exes are heavily thinking about you and they're changing their perspective on you and it's too late now. They're going through an ego death. A lot of people from your life, not just exes, but I do feel like a lot of you guys, your exes are coming into, like, you're coming into these people's minds. So a lot of people from your past are thinking about you heavily because they're going through an ego death and it's a delayed reaction. And you know what it is too? It's like... It's like once they finally kind of started to sit with themselves and kind of look within, that's when the the reality check really started to hit. You know what I'm saying? And the the wisdom that you provided, the gems that you've been dropped, that's that's when they're finally like realizing like, "Oh wow, this person wasn't the villain, the villain. <laughs> they just wanted the best for me." And, you know, you had to go away. If you didn't go away, if you didn't move away, the, you would have been a martyr for these people. You would have continued to be somebody that these people could use as a scapegoat, that these people could put all their problems on, all their burdens on, or put all the blame on. And it's like, 1717, no, you're finally going towards a community that's going to love you, appreciate you, and support you and uplift you. People who actually match you and people who are, you know grateful that you are able to change are grateful for the song that you sing are grateful for the things that you can create with them are grateful to just be able to spend time with you not because they need anything or because they have an agenda just because it's you and because you're amazing you know what i'm saying and because of all that you have let go of okay not just the people because the people are irrelevant it's like all the the debilitating programs that you had within your energy field because you're letting go of that life is about to propel forward on a whole nother level and you're going to be dancing with joy you're going to be so happy so uplifted so motivated so energized you're going to be trusting your intuition you're going to be satisfied with less thus receiving more okay it's like you don't care anymore all right. It's like you're not attached to your manifestations. And when you release, that's when you release resistance. And that's when you allow. And that's when everything just flows in. Okay. And you're showing yourself more grace. And this is your revolution season. Okay. This is where the magic is going to feel so crazy to people because the sorcery is real. Okay. Legit. Like it's because your energy is absorbing and, and, and drawing everything in. Okay. I don't know what that little pop was. A little pop. Okay, but that's why you're you trusted yourself. You trusted yourself to go on your own journey alone. You trusted in yourself and you believed in yourself to the point where it's like now you're the star of your own show, you're the star of the movie, and no one can deny this. No one can deny your power. No one can throw you under the bus. No one can blame you anymore because you're not there. They're stuck with their mess. And now everyone else is going to see the truth because there was a lot of people who believed the bullshit of the people from your past or who believed that it, everything was your fault. It's your fault. You know what I'm saying? You didn't try hard enough or you did this or you're, you're because you did that. That's why I did this instead of like really holding themselves accountable, especially for the people who abused you or like, you know what I'm saying? Projected onto you. They're starting to realize that you were the divine. Okay. It's giving like, you know, they put you on the cross. They put you on a cross 
and all of a sudden you're resurrected. And then they're like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> okay, you feel me? Like you're resurrecting and it's like you ain't in the cave. They went to go check and see and look at your demise and you ain't in that cave, you know what I'm saying? First of all, why are they checking for you like that? Like there's people who constantly check on you just to see like, are you down and they want you to be down and bad, but you're happy. Look at this, the sun. You're happy, you're embracing your uniqueness. The things that people try to make you feel insecure about are actually like your biggest strengths and you're embracing it yourself. You call yourself out on it and you don't give a shit. Like, yeah, I stutter. Yeah, I got acne. Yeah, I, I, I got weight on me. Or yeah, I'm a little scared. Whatever it is, like these people, you know what I'm saying? Because I heard Flocka. <laughs> so I'm like, wh whatever these people try to, to make you feel bad about, it's like, it's irrelevant. You, you, you doing you. Somebody could be getting a new tattoo or something about that but I feel like you tattooed your name on a lot of people's hearts and despite this anger this displaced anger that they have towards you because of the fact that you gave them a reality check without even being there you knocked down their tower with okay I don't know where it left off because it randomly just cut off and I was so scared because I thought I wasn't recording that whole time I was about to be pissed like I was talking for 20 minutes I didn't fucking record good god anyway but yeah, this is your justice. It's your justice season and we are in Libra season when I'm when I'm putting this out, but like it's it's finally time for people to pay the piper. It's finally time for that karmic balance to be paid, okay? And people owe you. People owe you. And God is saying, Pay up bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. Um you're finally realizing how beyond um, just this physical plane you truly are. I do feel like you are understanding and tapping into and connecting with your higher self and your soul a lot more, which is helping you to transcend all of the chaos in the world right now. Okay, because uh, this is my opinion. This is an illusion world, okay? I believe in the Matrix. I believe that, you know, the only thing that survives is our soul, okay? My soul came here multiple times. My soul be going all over the place, okay? I've astral traveled. And that's one reason for sure why I wholeheartedly believe in that, okay? But also I've, I've experienced a lot of esoteric and a lot of um, unexplainable things throughout my entire life, even before I had my spiritual awakening, you know, that let me know that you know <laughs> all things are possible and um you are stepping into your highest timeline your confidence is going to be boosted people are not gonna be able to shy away from you okay you're becoming the star of your own story which again it's like people are going to be treating you like a star because of you being in this celebrity energy okay and it's like you're going to be building so much stability, so much um, of a deeper channel to God, to source, okay? So much more peace is going to be coming in, so much more harmony, and you're going to be creating and manifesting automatically, okay? You've gotten to that point where it's like, it's going to come in extremely quickly because you're no longer attached to it. And because you're moving in silence and because you let go of whoever was blocking you and because of your belief in God's source and because of, you know, you trusting in yourself, all the work that you have done has finally paid off and this is honestly well deserved okay but these people really thought that you were the fucking villain but if you was the villain you know what i'm saying then when you left they wouldn't be going through what they were going through right things would have gotten better right but it seems like when you left things got worse <laughs> wonder i wonder why <laughs> right bitch <laughs> so, all right let's get some closing messages yeah now people are heartbroken now people are heartbroken because you're not there anymore you're not there you were supposed to be there you were supposed to be there if you really wanted me there would you have treated me the way that you treated me you know what i'm saying you wanted you wanted something else the, the 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 anointing <laughs> that this person could give the abundance the happiness the healing the joy because you couldn't do it for yourself a lot of the people that were in your life they can't do it you tried 
You tried to help them. You tried to show them. And all that ended up doing for you was teaching you a lot of lessons. And it ended up just draining you and blocking your manifestations. Like you had to wait years longer than you should have because it was hard for you to let go of the people that you love even though this wasn't for your highest and best good. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not easy. Who wants to let go of somebody that they love unconditionally? Even though it's like, it's like amputation. Nobody wants to fucking cut off their arm. But to survive, you have to, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's how it is. That's how it was. And um, now, they're like a dead finger that you had to amputate because of frostbite. But it's like, you're good. You're alive now. You'll be okay. You're gonna heal. But a piece of you is still missing, of course. Um... But that pain is very, very prevalent. Okay, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, people couldn't reciprocate the energy. Are we doing reversals or no? Yes, okay. Holy shit. What is this King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, you dealt with a lot of people who had big egos. Oh my god. Literally. Tried to make you feel left out on purpose. These people were selfish. And they all they all they wanted to do was blame you. They only wanted to make you look bad. Make you feel bad. It's crazy to me. All right, let's talk about it. You can't even see the cards, and I'm over here just like... La, da, 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 da. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups in the reverse, the Ace of Cups in the reverse, the Page of Pentacles, and then we also have the King of Wands in the reverse, and the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles is crazy to me. Like, these people literally wanted to take your last, take the shirt off of your back while not giving you shit and making sure that you're crying, you're sad, you're... It's like, they didn't care. <laughs> they didn't care what you were going through. Y'all was going through a lot, right? And you were still trying to offer people things. You know what I'm saying? People who didn't really love or care for you the way that you cared and loved them. And regardless, you know what I'm saying? It was it was a part of the journey. But it doesn't make it right, okay? And um, that really has... It, it fucked you up, okay? And we're all fucked up in our own way. Don't get me wrong, all right? We're all fucked up. <laughs> the world's crazy! But... Um, you know, everyone is, is doing the best that they can and you're, you've been doing a lot of healing and stuff, but it's hard for you to open up to new people because of the past pain. It's hard for you to open up to new people because of the people who betrayed you or the people who took advantage of you or the people who manipulated you or the people who blew up and, and spit their poison out at you, took their anger out on you. You were minding your damn business, okay? I'm seeing a cat. That was standing there and then all of a sudden another cat, like an orange cat, such orange cat things, just comes by and slaps the shit out of the cat. Which is minding my business and you do a little drive-by slap, like what the fuck? And that's the kind of shit people did to you. You know what I'm saying? And it was it was shade, it was hate, it was it was projections and it was all of their inner demons just attacking you because of your light and it's like people couldn't acknowledge that. They wanted to blame you, like you made me slap you bitch i was just standing there what the fuck you mean you know what i'm saying and people didn't want you to desire better in the future or they wanted you to think that it wasn't a possibility they wanted you to you know what i'm saying it's given like you told certain people things like yeah i want to do this or i want to do that or i want to go there i want to do that and these people are like well how are you going to do that you think you could really do that i don't think you should do that that's kind of, be careful doing that you know what i'm saying you're not like those people who can do that. What do you, who, who says? Who the fuck says? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the blocks in your life, yes, it was um, mainly mental and energetic. Um, but a lot of these people kind of projected that and it kind of stuck with you. And that's what's releasing right now is those blocks that were projected onto you. All that pain that was not yours to carry. All of those energies, all of those failed relationships, all of those failed projects, all of that heartbreak, all of the delays, all of the things that you didn't want that ended up coming towards you. All of it is it's dissipating. And the new beginning is coming in. You do have people from your past... Um, 
coming in to apologize and I don't know what they're gonna say. What are they gonna say? Who are these, you know, what are they saying? I couldn't see. I couldn't see how my actions were hurting you. I'm sorry I didn't show you the love and the support that you deserved. I'm looking at you in a different perspective and I'm seeing how important that you really were in my life. And um, I'm sorry that I treated you unfairly. But guess what? This communication don't mean shit because honestly, they're still blocked. They're still envious. They're still kind of angry at you. They only see that you're kind of stepping into your emperor or empress energy, which is the only reason why they want to apologize, which is the only reason why they want to connect with you, okay? They still see that you're loving, you're caring, that you're not letting these blocks continue anymore. You're stepping forward to a new future. You're only giving your energy to the people who matter, the people who you love and support. And those people are getting blessed while these other people who you left behind are not getting blessed and they're like okay well if i let this person back in or if i cut like you know try to convince this person by apologizing and come back in then i'll get my nine of pentacles then i'll get more independence more stability more support and it's like bitch <laughs> absolutely not so i don't know stay tuned for that um <clears throat> i really wouldn't be surprised uh if multiple people and these people are still envious these people are still kind of angry. First of all, they're angry because it's like they, they like, there's displaced anger. But like, you know, they need to kind of let go of that resentment they have towards you. When in reality, that's just kind of self-resentment because they're, it's, it's all them. <laughs> you know, you are the creator of your life and your energy creates your life. If you have any blocks in your life, that means there's an energetic block. You guys understand that you are processing that and you are letting go and you're focusing on feeling better and living better and doing the best that you can. And that's what these people need to do, but they don't know how to. So that's why they're kind of like trying to apologize so that they can leech off of you and get that energy that they had been blessed with before and reap your rewards and feed off of your harvest and it's like there's no way absolutely no way do not allow these people to come back in okay you, you deserve so much more okay so if you have made it to this just know that you have a lot 11 11 coming in okay but can you drop down a scale okay to embrace this libra season to embrace this karmic justice that is coming your way because you have a lot of stability a lot of peace a lot of healing coming in and it's gonna be kind of you know nothing that you can really see the blocks and the delays are being lifted okay you've been knowing this for quite some time but it's finally here and i feel like you know it's your time to reap your rewards and not let anybody else make you feel guilty because that's what's also going to happen is these people are going to try and guilt trip you because again there's no accountability i don't know who you've been hanging out with throughout your entire life okay but these people don't know how to take accountability maybe like before you didn't take accountability either because i was that way you know what i'm saying i barely took accountability i always wanted to blame everybody else for my problems like bitch own up to your shit and sure enough i did okay and i still do constantly to this day you know what i'm saying oh how did i manifest that you gotta ask yourself like why why is this happening to me okay this is happening for me but like what really caused this you know what i'm saying because sometimes it's happening because it's a lesson for you to realize like oh you were thinking negative or you were you were doing this or you were doing that you know what i'm saying so just be aware and um continue to do what you, whatever it is you're doing we literally have two scales, okay? There's a lot of a lot of balancing of the scales. God damn, my Libras, Libra gang, happy birthday! <laughs> All right, that's what we're gonna call it, beautiful souls. I love you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.